Hey, what's going on guys? Robert here, the face of the man behind the voiceovers. I wanted to give you guys a little video here today on making how to make money as a teen tech enthusiast or a teen computer enthusiast, someone who's interested in technology. Now, I say teen, but I don't think there's really any age barrier to this. I guess, you know, as long as maybe you're 12 in the 12, 13 range, I guess you could start doing this. You know, it all depends on I guess what your parents allow you to do or what you're capable of doing. But these are just some ideas and thoughts I thought I'd throw out there to you guys, which has allowed me to make a little bit of money, a little bit of revenue coming in, and uh, how you guys can do the same. So I'm going to go ahead and move this screen over here. I apologize because you know the last thing you guys want to see is the glariness of me looking in the camera and the reflection. So I'm going to try to cut down on that as much as I can. So we turned in all the monitors around me. I'm going to have this one open so I can see my notes here. If you guys to be looking over here, I'm going to be looking at my notes. But I'll try to look straight at the camera and let you guys know what's going on. And I apologize if you can't really see my face. It's covered by this microphone. I just want you guys to have good audio quality. So what's really important is what I have to say. Obviously not my face because that's boring to look at. Anyways, um, one of the first things I'll talk about is... Um, I, I guess the first thing before even getting into how to make money, I found is good is volunteering, getting your name out there. I've, you know, volunteered at um, my school. I spend a lot of my time at my school volunteering, doing IT work, because not only does that help me um, get my name out and, you know, do good things, you know, it's, it's, it's fun for me. I love doing IT and I, you know, enjoy doing that. So I, you know, enjoy going through the office, helping them fix their computers or whether it be like, you know, starting this video production center I do. I don't need a, I don't need a lot of my time at that school and it's kind of paid off a little bit and I'm fortunate enough to go to a, a smaller high school here where I'm kind of, you know, know everyone and I know all the staff members and I'm able to kind of, um, be in a position where I am, um, as opposed to a bigger high school where you kind of, you know, it's, it's a little harder to do, but you can definitely make it happen. You know, be there, be willing to help and, you know, talk to your computer teacher and, uh, you know, maybe make something happen. I mean, doing school IT is not that hard and it's pretty fun to do. And it's a very rewarding task and it definitely gets you out there. So like volunteer, I, I try to volunteer wherever I can, you know, especially helping neighbors or some that. And then, you know, kind of once you kind of, um, you know, do, you know, pay your dues, do what you need to do. And especially it's helping a ton in experience that you can kind of start upping your ante, doing things a little bit more, but definitely pay your dues get that experience because it definitely pays off and I'm, I'm not perfect by any means I'm just someone who wants to share their experiences to you guys so you guys can uh, get some tips and advice on how to do this so the first thing I found that uh, is a fun thing to do uh, really easy for any teen is um, neighbor computer repair helping your neighbors out who need um, assistance in computers uh, I live by um, an elderly um, woman who's very very nice and I help her um, you know fix her network troubleshoot issues um you know, help her with the computer. Uh, it's pretty interesting. She actually has an um her son who actually is in the field installed um Ubuntu on her computer. So it's kind of fun to go over there and help troubleshoot with her on Ubuntu and um you know fix different things and do you know things like that. But um I you know help her all the time and you know I've kind of built up I think a little rep uh, repertoire with her. I can't think of the word. A little. I can't. I can't think of the word. A little. You guys know what I'm saying. A, a little relationship with her, and um, I don't get a lot of money from that. But you know, just you know, a couple bucks here and there is always nice. I love to go over there and help. You know, whether it be you know installing a new router or helping her fix something. That's something that is very you know easy to do because most of the times the uh, the things you need to troubleshoot with um, with neighbors are pretty easy. Like you know, can you help me install Microsoft Word or can you help me connect this printer? I'm having issues getting online. Those are really easy. They're not going to give you you know fifty bucks for every job, but maybe you know ten bucks for going over there and you hit a couple of houses and that's great. And it's really you know again a rewarding and fun to do. And you know you can get a little bit more advanced. I haven't exactly done this, but you could go and you know put up posters like you know um, IT repair in the uh, in your neighborhood or maybe you can you know just word of mouth. My neighbors definitely talked about, um, you know, me to other people who have asked me, you know, just, you know, being able to get, kind of get your word out, you know, get a good, um, get a good brand or I guess a good image behind your name. So other neighbors go, hmm, I know that kid down the street, might call him and ask him to get computer repair. And of course I do all my family computer repair. You don't charge for that, of course, but that's always fun and rewarding too, especially to go help your, um, your relatives go buy computers. That's one of the most rewarding parts of it. Um, so that's one of the things, just, you know, neighborhood computer repair, um, you know, whether it be, like I said, you know, helping them install something, um, buy a computer, computer repair, you know, like getting in there, replacing a hard drive. Um, that's really, you know, pretty rewarding to do. And again, it can make a little money. I apologize if I repeat things again. I'm just trying to get my train of thought here. Um, and, you know, I guess, you know, not just neighbor, but general computer repair. I guess I should really broaden that category. I do a lot of repair um, for others. 
um, just, you know, friends of friends or someone, um, you know, especially, you know, kids at school, I go to a high school, um, you know, kids who have me restore iPods or stuff like that. Again, not really bringing in money, but maybe five or 10 bucks here or there. Um, fixing someone's computer. I do that a lot for students who bring me their computer. Oh, you're the tech guy at school. Can you, um, you know, I had a girl have me, uh, do and remove some malware off her computer, uh, restore windows, easy things that geeks, especially, I'm assuming you probably know what to do. Um, it's easy to do, and uh, you know, just computer repair in general is a very cool thing to do, and it could bring in a little bit of a, a revenue stream. <clears throat> All right, number two is web design. Web design is something that I'm not great at. If you look at my website, that's not great. Robistech.com, RobertRosenfeld.com, um, <clears throat> but it's something that if you learn what you're doing and you know how to do something right, it can be definitely a very good source of revenue. Um, again, just, you know, bringing my school, I'll bring up my school as an example a lot because I do a lot of stuff there. Um, this past summer I was able to redo their website. Um, I talked to their web design team. They don't really have anyone to do their website. They were doing some weird dream reaver stuff and they were just having an issue. So I went in, <clears throat> apologies, I'm swimming in my throat. <clears> throat. Went in, put in a content management system, what, you know, redid their whole website, brand new infrastructure, brand new way to, for them to do things. I didn't use one of those school CMSs. I made everything really easy. I did a lot of work with them on troubleshooting. And I think one of the biggest things about web design in general <clears throat> is being able to troubleshoot and find problems and find solutions for your customer because they're the ones, they know what they want. You got to kind of work around and help them. Use, use your techno technological skills to make what they want a reality. Like, they wanted to bring their news announcements to the front page of the website. Well, that's not so hard, but the hard part was finding some kind of graphical user interface, a web interface for this to work, automatically bring up the announcements, automatically take them down, be easily managed, all doing it on, you know, on the fly. That was something fun um, to do. So that was a very, very educating task for me to do now I'm not going in there with no, no skills at all I, I have some web design skills even though I really need to work on my sites but I do a lot of um you know different consulting and stuff like that um <clears throat> so when in I took my whole summer I was basically doing that and I got a pretty good um chunk of change from doing that definitely they got a bargain off of it you know another company would have probably charged them a couple thousand dollars to do it um for the whole the whole thing I did um and I didn't get a lot of money, but I got a very good chunk of change, which I put towards a new laptop. Um, that was a nice, nice way of getting, you know, um, a check, um, a payment every, uh, every uh, for a couple months I did that. Then I did some, um, you know, maintenance during the school year I did. I uh, still got um, some money every month by just doing some maintenance, you know, updating things on the website, meeting with them, seeing how we could improve things, changing some back-end things, so on and so forth. Easy things, very educating I could do. Web design is something you definitely want to look at. If, you, if you're looking for something to do, web design. And if to learn, definitely learn. Learn. There's tons of great tutorials on how to do it. And if you learn how to do it and you can do it right, it's a great source of revenue. Um, another one I do a lot is video production. I apologize. I know people are going, video production, what do you, I look at your YouTube videos, they're not that great. I know that. Um, again, I really should put more time into my YouTube videos, especially this one, which is just a one taker. Uh, I do a lot of video production, uh, again, for my school. I shoot a lot of the sports. Um, I shoot a lot of the, um, like the California Shake out here in California. We do the big earthquake called Shoot That. Um, I do a lot of video production, and that is a good source of revenue to do if you're doing it very good. <clears throat> Again, this is a this is a um, great um, example of paying your dues. I did this for years without asking for a cent, and I don't ask for money now. But like you know, I'll, I'll shoot the games now. Like I just did football. I'll shoot all the football games, and I'll sell the copies to uh, the parents at the end of the season, or I'll make a highlight video or something like that. Those are easy. Um, ways to get money especially if they're good you know get a highlight video get some great kits some great passes some great touchdowns i apologize for the dog barking in the hallway sorry about that um but you guys even heard that but that's a great way uh, to make some revenue so shooting that i'm you know make some dvds a lot of the times i don't really charge for that but video production you know again just getting your name out in the neighborhood hey anyone need some help with a school project i can film and edit it for you or does anyone need help you know filming you know a training session i i actually am in a position i might be doing some training video for someone um video production is something i like doing uh even though i think i'm more of a Apologize for the dog barking. I'm more of a computer, a technical person. Video is still something I like doing, and I do a lot of editing, and that's very, very nice. I apologize for the dog barking. 
I guess along with video production would be graphic design. I can't really speak for myself on graphic design because I don't really have an eye for design, and I'm not someone who does graphic design. The creative one, you know, David DeFranco, as you might know on YouTube, uh, from what I understand, he pretty much makes his living off graphic design. And graphic design is something that, again, if you know what you're doing, you can do a great job. My good friend Kyle Adams, um, he writes for my blog on a semi-regular basis. I'm good friends with him. He did one of my cool logos, my Robert Rosenfeld logo. Um, you guys might have seen before. Not the Rob is Tech one. I did that myself, which is not that good. But the Robert Rosenfeld logo, um, he did for me. He's a great graphic designer. He does graphic design. And, um, you know, again, if you know what you're doing, graphic design is a great way to make money, especially for businesses, schools, friends. Hey, here's 10 bucks. I'll do you a little logo. Or, hey, I, I'm, I'm always I'm always looking for a good graphic designer to do logos. I'd love to get a new logo for RobisTech.com and uh, get some cool, like, you know, merchandise and get some stuff. But I don't know if graphic designer. So, hey, if you're a graphic designer, message me. Let me know. But a uh, graphic designer is another uh, instance of something. If you know what you're doing and doing it right, it's a very profitable task and I'm already at 11 minutes I apologize it's a long video <clears throat> um another example of a way you can make money as a teen tech is work with someone you know who is in the field uh we have a friend of mine who does some IT for businesses and I've gone along with him um I guess you know really not really making money myself but it's a lot of learning you know it's a great amount of learning I went we went into a school we put some um we you know it's all wireless managing servers uh, managing networks that was something I was able to pick up and learn and especially like the little things too like how to make how to you know split a cable and put on um, the coupler and all that and how to actually run cable and the proper way to do this and that um, that's a great thing to do and especially if you know someone in the IT field that's great Another one, I guess, being IT, um, managing networks, you know, going, finding a small business and being able to manage their network is something that's always fun. You know, IT isn't just the boring, you know, installing routers and, you know, setting that stuff up, but it could be, you know, setting up computers for people or, you know, managing software. Well, I guess if you find managing software boring, it's, you know, it's going to be boring, but IT for me, I think it's great. Um, it's it's great, but it can also be boring. Obviously, if you're doing the same task over and over again, like you know, for geeks, most people know how to do basic IT, like setting up a network and stuff like that. But it's a great source of web. Um, an, uh, that's a great source of income that you can get on a, a monthly basis or a weekly basis if you set up a contract with the local small business. Like if you went to a church or something and said, "Hey, you know, a small church or a organization, hey, you know, I'll I'll do your um." <clears throat> I'll set up your network and I'll go ahead and manage it for you guys. You know, make sure all the stuff is up to date. I'll make sure the computers, um, you know, run software updates, have any problems. You know, maybe, you know, a couple hundred bucks a month. That's a very, very good um, source of income. But again, it all starts by knowing what you're doing, being able to give them some kind of resume. And you could just, excuse me, you could just do a very good job and you could have just landed yourself a great source of income. Um, so that's good. Always IT. And the last one, which a lot of people think is a get, a get rich quick um, way of doing things that I've, <laughs> I don't think so, is um, YouTube and blogging. Um, making money online is something that I've always wanted to do, but so far, all my mainly my income comes from doing things in the real world and uh, getting things done. Not to say that things, you know, doing things online aren't real world. It's just you really have to kind of get in there for a while and start doing things for a while before you're really going to see any income. Obviously, YouTube. I do not reply. Wouldn't I haven't made a cent off of YouTube. Um, you know, even though I monetize these videos and I try to get some revenue, I haven't made a cent. You know, you have to get a couple thousand subscribers. And even if you have a couple thousand subscribers, that doesn't guarantee you money. The only people who are guaranteed money every month are people with, like, you know, like Shaytars with a million subscribers. You got to have a lot of money. I mean, not have a lot of money. I got a lot of subscribers to kind of be guaranteed, you know, X amount of views and so on and so forth. So YouTube is something that I think is a great way if you can break into the mainstream and start doing videos and just doing a great video and doing putting a lot of effort to, into it. It's a way you can make money. We, we've seen it. We see it now. People are making <clears throat> their main source of income is YouTube. That's great. But it requires a lot of work and a lot of time. It's not just going to happen overnight. You're going to get some YouTube. You're going to become huge on YouTube and start making money. Same with my blog. My blog, I've made... Oh man, pennies on the dollar. AdSense is, I, and I even have that blog for three, four years now. It's gonna be 2012. I've had that blog for a long time. I have made next to nothing off of it. Now again, I'm not complaining because I don't get that many visitors. And AdSense, you know, they take a chunk. I've not made, I, I made a little money, but I'm not making a lot of money off of AdSense. I mean, really. Again, if you have a popular website, you're going to, you know, put a lot of time, but you're going to make it good. Put some ads on it, and that's going to be great. You know, it doesn't hurt to have the ads unless you really are opposed to ads. 
uh, having the ads on there gets me a little bit of money every month. I mean, I'll take whatever I can get. It's another little source of income. But AdSense, again, you're not just going to go get make a blog, put ads on there, and say, hey, I'm done. You know, I'm going to just get, I'm going to start, I'm going to sit back and start raking in the dough. It doesn't work like that. You kind of have to establish yourself, get a good website, make that online reputation, and then maybe you can uh, let it work off, uh, let, let it work out for you. You can start making some revenue. So that's, you know, as far as that goes. Again, on uh, making money online, there's tons of ways to do it. Uh, but it, it all, everything takes time. I think that this, that's the biggest thing to take away from this. When I still am having trouble working on it, taking away this, is, um, away from this, is everything takes time. If you're gonna start me being a YouTuber and you want to make money off of YouTube, it's gonna take time. If you want to be an IT person, if you want to do these websites and website development and video production, it all takes time. Learn what you're doing, pay your dues, be the person who wants to volunteer, and eventually you'll start making some revenue. Um, and I think that's what, you know, one of the things I'm still working on is just, you know, doing new things, meeting new clients, being able to be the person that everyone relies on for technology. And it works out. It, it works out. It just takes time. So that's, you know, my tips. So if you guys have any tips, I'd love to know what other tips you guys have. It doesn't have to be a teen tech enthusiast, but these are jobs for teens, I guess, I'm assuming. Uh, or they could be for adults. Um, leave your comment below. Do you have, how do you make money? Besides, you know, I, it doesn't have to be computers. I'm just kind of thinking in the technology aspect of things, but mowing lawns, washing cars. Leave a comment below on what you kind of do to make money and if you're not a tech enthusiast then what, what else would you recommend to do um and if uh, you guys enjoyed these uh tips and maybe they helped you leave a comment below thumbs up favor the video um again like i said i'm not making any money off of youtube so it doesn't really matter you know if you thumbs it up or leave a comment whatever but i'd love to know your input i'd love to know what i can do to make these videos better if you guys learned to like these or what do you guys think do you guys like the higher production dslr videos editing or would you guys just rather have me sit here for oh let's see here uh, 16 minutes and ramble on on something. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.